Yo, yo, yo. Turn this audio up just a little bit. What up, though? What up, though? What's good? What is good? Hope all is having a great, great day. Happy belated Mother's Day. What's up? What up, though? Now, um, today, let me do this right quick. Today I'll be doing just a few little uh, tips and tricks, uh, just a few of them, not a lot, just a couple of them, uh, because when we had the show last week, um, I got an email asking, how do you set up, does it do, while you're, you know, transfer files back and forth uh, using your PC? So basically, you want to send movies, pictures, and everything from the PC over to your um, Zadu wirelessly. Now, there's a couple ways you could do it. You know, um, I'm going to show you the way that I usually do it. But also, there is another way. Salute. Don't forget to smack that thumbs up as you're entering the building. Right? Just a few things we'll discuss. Um, I got both of my Zadu devices connected. All right, uh, let me do this, cancel. All right, and where is my other remote? Right here, all right. So I do have both devices. Uh, my Zadu 1000 Pro and my Zadu Z10 Pro, all right. So there's a couple of them, nothing major, um, but it is good to have this in your tool bag just in case. All right. Let me hurry up because I got some things I got to do. So we're going to get through this video. Now, let me share my screen right quick. Oh, no. Let me do this first. That. Make sure I ain't got nothing showing in the background. All right. And of course, got to use your keyboard. I love using this keyboard. All right. And right here. So let me bring this up right quick. All right. We get that going. Make this a little bit bigger. Let me know if y'all can um, see the screen or does it need to be a little bit bigger? If I have to go full screen, I will go. Which one do you prefer, this one, or do you prefer this way? Let me know. If you want the full screen, I will go full screen. All right. Let me know. What up, though? What's good, everyone in the chat? We got over 40 people up in here. Don't forget to smack that thumbs up. What up, though? What up? What up? What up, though? Look like my chat is stuck. <laughs> my chat must be stuck. All right. You say full screen. That's from Bill. So we will go full screen. All right. He said, let's go full screen, Dale. So let's go full screen. All right. Now, again, I'll be using, you know, uh, the Z10, this is the Z1000. Where you see me moving this, this is the Z1000. And this one is the Z10 Pro. All right? So we'll go full screen. Salute to everybody out there. Now, some of y'all, I, I don't hear many people talking about this, but there is a developer's option on the Zadu devices. Again, there is a developer's option on Zadu. All right. How do you get to the developer's options where you can make some changes and things like that? I'm going to use the Z10 Pro. Matter of fact, I do both of them. First thing first, you must go to the settings. All right. So you got to go to the settings. 
If you're on the Z10 Pro, it's already high, highlighted. You go into the settings. Then you go over to others on both of them. All right. Hit enter. Oh, no. You know what? Go over to others and then go down. My bad. All right. And you want to go to about. All right. So I'm going to go down others and go to about. Hit the right button, go over there where it says advance. Let me do this. Let me do this here. Uh, let me do this. Let me change this mode. Where is my... Let me see if I can go to two screen. Uh, I can't get to the two screen. I might have to just do this on one. All right, let's do it on one because they, they the same anyway. All right, so let's start this over. All right, all right. So again, you got to go to your settings. All right, go to your settings. All right, go over to other. Go down. So go all the way down once you get to others. You go to the about. When you get to the about, go over to the right, click the right one time, and you see advanced settings, all right? And again, you go over here. Now, from here, you go down to system, all right? So your button may be up here. All You just highlight system. So go down to system. And right here, you see where it says about tablet want to click that all right click it one time and then you should get the, the device name all of this information right here all right you should get all of this information from there you see where it says build number at the very bottom you want to click that seven times to and mine say no need you already a developer but just in case you're not a developer that's where you go and it will tell you you are a developer once you click it seven times. From there, guys, hit the back button one time. Go down here to where you see advance. You ain't got to go right here, but you can go to advance. All right. Go to advance. And here it is. You see developers options. Not real tech developers options, but you get developers option this is more for the processor all right so you click developers options and that's when you can go up in here and make some changes if you want change the color do all of that stuff but one thing how we make it a little bit snappier when we're using the remote control if you go all the way down here to the bottom or down some just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then you got this Windows animation. Of course, you got the transition and then you got the animator. You can make some changes to this to make your device a little bit snappier. You could turn it off, the animation part off, or you could go to 0.5. Sometimes when you click on it, it may be at one second. But you could do a half a second on here. It's as simple as that. You could just go in here and make your changes, make your adjustments, and go into there. Okay? Pretty simple. Again, it's up to you. This is uh, personal preference. But you can do some things in here. All right? You can make some changes if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, just go to... You know, if you want your device to be a little bit snappier. Now, you can hit the go back button. And if you do want to go into the real tech developers options, which you can get to get to a lot of this on your main screen. But here it is, you know, HDR, the grammar, you know, uh, contrast, brightness, hue. You can make some adjustments right here. The zoom mode, if you wanted that, you know, it is really up to you. Um, you can do some audio changes, the HDMI, and if I'm not mistaken, 
if I'm not mistaken, they do have the um uh you know the HDMI 2.1 as well on this device or 2.2 I meant. So if you want to change that, if you your TV is HDCP 2.2, you can actually um, change that as well. So you can make some changes on here. It's really up to you. Um, if you don't know about this, don't go in here messing with anything. So now that's on the Z1000. Let's go into the Z10 Pro. All right. As you see right here, never mind this, because a lot of y'all, y'all screens will look like this. You go into the quick settings, go over here to others. Again, go down here to about, and then that's when you go to the right and click advanced settings. And again, you want to go all the way down here to system, click system, and again, you want to go down to about tablet and then again you just go down here I don't think I am a developer on here so if I click this you see I'm 432 and it says you are now a developer so I can hit the back button one time go down here to the advance right and then I can go into uh, uh, developers options and again if you don't know what you're doing but you just want to make it a little bit snappier. You can keep just go down, keep going down until you see. Here it is right here. Windows animation scale. Again, this going to make your device a lot snappier using your remote control. Again, I'm going to change this to half a second. And again, this is personal preference is really up to you. All right. Once you're done, if you don't need anything else, you can come up out of it and then, you know, go back and you should be good. And when you use your remote control, you can see that everything moves a lot fast. It's just a lot quicker when you hit your remote control compared to the one second or things like that. So it's pretty, 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 pretty good. All right. Pretty, 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 pretty good. All right, so the next thing I will show you. Now, you actually saw, uh, uh, you know, Brandon do this last week. Um, this was the email that I received. Um, how to actually set your device up, you know, to actually go, you know, send files back and forth. All right, so let me do this right quick. Now, some of y'all know me because I use this application called Explore App, all right? Explore App is very, very nice, but you, you can use this bad boy and go down here, turn on your server, all right? And then you get that URL, and then you have, uh, you know, you can actually share. You know, you can send files, you know, to your Zadoo. Movies, TV shows, pictures, music, different files you can send over here. But then, all right, somebody said, well, look, Dale, I want to be on my computer and send files over to this bad boy. All right. So with that being said, again, you got to go into your settings. All right. Settings look pretty much the same. You got to go over here to network. All right. Go over here to your network. Again, go into your Samba server. And guys, you got to make sure this is turned on, your Samba server. All right, make sure it's turned on. And then you see that little URL that's over there to your right? It's, it's an access address. And you see the 192.168.1.30. You can actually type that into your browser and actually get on all right you can actually do it it is pretty pretty easy now one thing about it again on your pc and let me see if i can do this 
Let me see if I can share my screen over here. All right. So let me do this. Let me present, share screen, windows. Uh, all right. Can't do that. Hold up just a second. Let me cancel that. And I might just want to move the whole thing over here. All right, so let me do this right quick. Let me go on here, present, share screen, windows. I don't know why it's not sharing my screen. No, that's not it. Hold up, guys. For some reason, it's not sharing my screen. StreamYard is acting up over here. Like it always do when you're trying to do a presentation. Let me do it this way then. Let me uh let me do it this way. Setting. Hold up just a second. For whatever reason, it's not allowing me. It only want to share. All right, there we go. Here we go. All right. So only my screen right here, right? I got the Z1000 Pro. And I just got it saved on my desktop. You can save it wherever you want. Again, it's up to you. But remember, all right? Remember, uh, let me remove this. And let me make this full screen again. Let me do this right quick. All right, so you remember it's showing me the URL, all right? It's definitely showing me that 192, all right? So that you see it. All right, so I'm trying to do this right quick. That way you see it. You see it. So I guess I should have went over here and did this as well. Let me do this. Make it as easy as possible for you. So I can go into my network, right? I don't know. Let me see if you can see that. I can go into my network, as you see, and right, right here where it says network, again, I can click on it, and again, you can go up here for some people. Um, there are multiple ways you could do this, but I'm trying to do it the easiest way for people can understand, all right? So let me try this again, all right? So you saw the, the, um, the access address, all right? So one thing you can do. Go to your network. One way how I go to my network. Of course, I can start down here, but I'm just doing this shortcut right here. And then I just select network down here at the bottom. Now, one thing you can do, again, there are multiple ways that you can do it. All right. I'm just trying to do it the easiest way uh, for some people. You can actually go up here. And again, you can hit your back button, right? And then you can go up in here, and I got it right here. All right. And once you put in that URL, hit the two backslashes 192.1.68.1.30. Here it is right here. This is the Zadoo. All right. So I can click in here, and this is the Zadoo 1000. And again, if I wanted to add some movies, I could, as you see right here, this is a big collection of some movies that I have on the Z1000. 
even if I come out, I got some TV shows as well. Um, as y'all see it right here, so many of them. Uh, you know, so again, and all you have to do, so I'm gonna just do something right here. I'm gonna put a folder. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a YouTube. You're gonna see me drag and drop. And this is called my YouTube picks, and I'm gonna put it in Android. So these are my YouTube Android picks. All right. So from there, guys, again, very, very solid. Very, very solid. Where is my remote control? It is right here. So I can hit that home button, right? I can go over here to my file manager. And I can go into that Android because that's where I put it at. And YouTube Picks is right here. And there it is right here. I can actually show my pictures. All right. YouTube Picks. And you see it is, you know, depending on how big the size is, you can still pretty much do what you, you know, however you want to do it. All right. Uh, is really, which is really up to you how you could do it. Now, again, you know, it's fairly easy, right? It's fairly easy. Let me go to the Z10 Pro because a lot of y'all have the Z10 Pro. And this time I will use my remote, my, um, uh, what you call it, uh, keyboard. All right. So again, go into your settings. Very, very easy, guys. All right, you can go to network. All right, go. You got to make sure your Samba server is on, though. Make sure it's on. Now, with this one, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Because on my Z10, my Z1000, I was on the Ethernet. This one I have connected to the uh, Wi Fi. All right, so I do have it connected to the Wi-Fi, and it's pretty, 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 pretty good to go, right? It's connected to the Wi-Fi, all right, because you see it is on, right? But now, again, make sure your Samba server is on, and again, right here, it's telling you the URL, all right? So I'm going to take this number right here that got this 192.168.1.44. It tells you right here. So, I'm going to take this again. Got it. So, let me remove that. Let me add this one and go back out. All right. Again, however you get to your um however you get to your network, um just find your network. Again, usually when you hit that Windows, you can or you can just search network and you should get it. So, right here I'm going to click the network. All right. Double click it. And then I just go up here to the top. Right. And all I have to do is put in that network. 192.168.1.44. All right. As soon as I hit the enter, and you see I put the 192.168.1. 192.168.1.44. All right. Oops, sorry about that. I forgot to hit the uh the back buttons. All right. So let's do it again. Let's do it again. Hold up. All right. So you got to do the the backslashes. All right. 192.168.1.44. All right, hit enter, and here it is right here. Now, here is the device right here. Of course, when you get all of this, guys, you know, it is what it is. You know, this is my drive. Well, I got a bunch of movies and things like that on here. All right, this right here is the, um, the hard drive enclosure. All right, I don't have nothing in there. I got one movie in there, but if I go here, I got this one in here. So I was just messing around with this. 
you know, uh, you know, just trying to get it up and going. I haven't transferred everything as of yet. I only got a couple films over here just to make sure they work. Uh, some nothing in karaoke. To see if I got, you know, I got a couple movies, horror films. So again, this is the one that uh, I'm setting up. I got some game emulators and all of that on here. And so again, this is the drive the hard drive enclosure that's in RAID 1. So everything I send over here will be copy. I got two hard drives connected to a hard drive enclosure, and we should be good to go. Again, this right here is my flash drive, all right? Again, I have some things on here, and, you know, this is my flash drive that I have connected to the hard drive enclosure. And then this is the internal storage of the Z10 Pro. All right, this is the internal. So I can show you that this works. So all I, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up into, uh, let me see. Let me go into the hard drive enclosure. Uh, let me see if I can find, let me go into the flash drive. All right, this is the flash drive, and I'm going to go into the Android, right? And that same folder, I'm going to drag and drop. All right, that same one. Let me see if I got a film in here as well. Hold up. Let me see if I can find uh, a film somewhere around here. All right, so all right, so I did do a couple films. So I got a 1080p that I'm gonna put in this Android as well. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna see how long it takes because I haven't done uh, a um. A movie as of yet you see it looked like it's taking are we yeah we on the internal and so you see it look like it's taking a little bit of time <laughs> and you we definitely don't have time for that as you see right here it's taking this sweet old time i don't know why but it is what it is all right it is what it is but you can transfer movies and things over there all right I don't know why it's taking a sweet time, but we'll cancel it out and go from there. That's that's for another video. But you can actually send data over to this bad boy. All right. So from there, same light. Let me see something. Did I? Oh, you know what? You know what? I think I know what I've done. All right. There we go. I think I know what I've done, but. It's all good, but I can go over here and, you know, I can drop this down because I'm done over there, right? Let me add this back to the string. I can take this down. And so now when I go back, I should have my picture so I can go into the media center and it should pull up all of my drives but i can go into my android and as you see i got my youtube pics right here and this is the same thing so you could do some transferring all right you could do some transferring and just go from there and again i can go back and forth and things like that and it's pretty smooth all right it's very very smooth and you can do that all right, but you can transfer movies. But again, if you're trying to transfer, you know, quite a bit of films, you know, uh, depending on your setup, everybody's setup is different. You can do it. You can transfer films back and forth. Um, it's just up to you. Uh, to me, I would rather be hardwired when I'm transferring. All right, but, it, you know, some of y'all are on Wi-Fi and that's... That is cool as well.
Now, let me go back. And again, let me go full screen. All right. How do you turn your Zadu into a hot spot? A lot of y'all may not know, but you can turn your Zadu into a hot spot. And that, that's again when you go over here to network. All right. And here it is right here. All right. You can go over here. You can turn this option on. And when it turn on, it's going to say activate it. You could name it whatever you want. It's really up to you. And I'm going to try to use, uh, let's do this. I'm going to turn it on. And you see that it went to activate it. The hotspot doesn't work right here if it's off. You see when, you, when it's off, it says inactivated. You can turn it on. So you could do some modification, right? You could say, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to modify it. I'm going to leave it at Z10, right? Um, and I'm going to give it a little password, right? Let's just do this. I'm going to just say 0000, right? It's really up to you, whatever you want. All right? And I'm going to say I want 5G network. All right? Pretty, pretty simple as that. I guess I guess it won't me to do a longer one. Five, six, seven, eight. All right. It wants you to use eight. All right. So um as a pa password, network name is Z10 Pro, and I'm gonna leave it at uh eight zeros. Okay, so we know it's on. We know exactly it is on. So let me do this. All right. Let me do this. I'm going to go to my uh, feed three. That's the Z10 Pro. The Z1000 Pro. All right. Let's go and see if I can find that network. And it should pull up all networks over here. Look like it ain't connecting, but let's see. I don't see the network. So let me go over here. I'm going to cut it off. Cut it back on. Let's see if it finds the... The Z10 Pro. It's not coming up over here. Let me let me look at my phone. All right, let me see if it pulls up on my phone. So let me see if it pulls up on my phone. But maybe it won't pull up on the Zadu. But maybe it'll pull up on my phone. Wi Fi. Yes, hold up. It should be on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Set up a oh, did I cut it off? Wow, I cut it off. All right, so what happened? I don't know why it cut off, but let's do that again. Let's cut it on and then let's go over here and let me let me make this large screen. So I cut it off, so now. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to cut this off. Let's cut it back on. And it should pick it up. And there it is right there. As you see, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I will make it larger. 
You see, they go to Z10 Pro. I'm going to click on it. And it says the password. And the password is... Zero zero three four five six seven eight, and I'm gonna hit connect, and let's see if it connect. All right, it's still thinking. It's still thinking. Taking a little bit of time. Come on. It's taking longer than normal. But let me cut it off and cut it back on. Let's see if it try to connect then. It's not showing up. Did it get cut off again? Nope, it didn't get cut off. Maybe it don't want a Zadu connecting to a Zadu. But I do know it'll connect to my phone. Let me see something right quick. Because I know it'll connect to my phone. I did that before. Yeah, it's not even wanting to connect. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't want to connect. So usually it connects to my phone, but for some reason it's not connecting. It's not connecting to uh let me just restart it. Yeah, well, it don't want to. It don't want to do it, guys. So I don't know. Hold up, why? Let's try it again. For some reason, it don't want to connect, but it connects to the phone. All right, so there we go, right here. I'm going to hit connect. Maybe I got to be patient or something. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's saying, no, oh, Dale, you ain't connecting to this. Not today. You know what? I wonder, do I have to take my Ethernet out? Let me take my Ethernet cord out. Hold up. That could be the problem. That can be the problem. All right. So I just took the Ethernet cord out out of uh there it is. Took the Ethernet cord out and now it connects. All right. All right. So definitely done that. All right. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh for some of y'all. So if you if you have your device um uh, so you got, and so you see it, so everybody see it, where's the Bluetooth remote? As you see right here, the Z10 Pro, you're going to say, Dale, what is it? What device are you on? All right. 
let me go and show you what device I am on about as you see right there you see Z 1000 Pro all right two gigs of RAM 32 uh, gigs of memory and you see it right there and so yes but now when you do this make sure you and as you see it right there the Wi-Fi I am connected to the Z10 Pro all right so you could turn it into a hotspot just make sure you disable uh, or you take your Ethernet cord loose. All right? All right. Now, where we at? What time is it? It's 8 o'clock. It is 8 o'clock. So let me do this right quick. What up, though? What's good? All right, there we go. Now, let's do this. Uh, let me see. Let me see what else we got. What else we got? Again, these are just some little hidden gems on here. Don't forget, guys, you can connect the device up to your um, Zadoo. And again, you can actually go up in this joint. Let me do this right quick. You can go up in uh, HDMI in. Go to your HDMI in, and you can actually plug a device up and start recording. Now, y'all should already know about this. If you don't, let me know. I can get with you one-on-one. -on -one. If you want to learn how to record on this device from another source, so... Basically, if I uh, hook up, let me see if I can hook something up to this bad boy. I ain't going to do no recording, but where am I at? Where am I at? Where's my fire stick? All right. So you can, ah, I did this before, but I'm about to get over here and do some things. Hopefully I don't mess nothing up, but you can put your HDMI in on here. I'm trying to get to it. Let me see if I can get to it. I might be able to get to it. I knocked something over over there, so let me see. See if we get a picture. I don't know. Where is this going to? As you see right there, the Fire TV is coming up. So, again, if you want to record something, but, again, if you want to record off of your... Uh, your your device you're gonna have to like fire stick and stuff like that you're gonna have to you're gonna have to um you know get a hdmi splitter the one that breaks you know or disable the hdcp all right simple as that simple and then that's that's when you can go into here and start recording but remember you must get the splitter all right, because if you don't get the splitter, you're going to get this message right there. All right, so you must have the splitter. All right, you must have the splitter. All right, and last but not least, guys, uh, let me do this right quick. You may, some of y'all may know this. Let me take this loose. All right. I got wires all over the place, HDMI wires. But remember, if you copy your movies, some of y'all got some home movies that's on CDs and everything. If you do have that, if you do have a, a you know, some of your home movies, things like that, that's on CDs and DVDs, you can actually connect this up to your Zadoo. 
and it will play it. All right. Now it's not going to play any of these, you know, the original films. It's not going to do any of the original films, the real. But if you made a copy or you may got some old school uh, DVDs from back in the day and, you know, you might want to watch, you know, you might want to watch it. You can actually get you a uh, um, USB external hard drive and connect it to your Zadu. As you see, I got a couple of them. All right. I have a couple of them and you can do some damage. You can, I ain't going to say damage, but you can, you can actually watch your home films or maybe you download it or rip the movie, right? And put it on a DVD or something like that or a Blu-ray, however you want to do it. You should be able to take this, plug it in USB into your Zadu and it will play it. It just won't play the original films that you buy from the store and stuff like that. It will not because it's not going to bypass. You will have to rip it, then take a blank copy and, you know, put your, your films on there. And again, you know, we got, you know, I got some home films that I should have displayed for you. Uh, Yeah, I got some film. I, I could go over there and get a, a set of uh, and do it for you. What up, though? What's good? What's good? Bill say, my Explorer doesn't work well on my Zadu. May need to try another version. Yeah, you must have a, a bad version of it, um, Bill. Definitely. What up, C. Oliver? Show enough in the building. What up, though? Salute. Salute, salute, salute. Top Cat in the building. What up, though? What's up, Top Cat? What's up, baby? How you doing? What's up, Cinnamon Cupcake? What up, though? What is good? What is good? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. StreamYard got this new thing on here. It says automatically start YouTube Super Chats. All right, so that's on. Maybe it popped up. I don't know. I don't see it. All right. So I don't know if it popped up on y'all in or not. What up, though, Esma? What up, though, Nell? Odell? I'm trying to see. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. All right. Got a couple minutes. Any questions? Any, 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 any questions? You say, the keyword says, what adapter? Um, so... Are you what are you trying to do, Nakiba? Are you trying to do you have a Zadu? Let me know if you have a Zadu, and then I will display what I have right here. What's up, Neil? Do you have a Zadu? 
Let me know if you have a Zadu. And then we'll go into the details. You say you getting one? All right, cool. So up under my desk, I have a few of them. All right. A few of them. Here's one right here. It's called the U9 HDMI 1 to 2 splitter. All right. Hopefully you can see that. The U9. All right. So you have those. And again, what you do, you take, you take, you know, um, come out of here, come out of your whatever device. So if you're going to connect the fire stick up to the Zadu, come out of the fire stick or come out of the uh, whatever device you're going in, right? And plug it into here first. And then this go into your Zadu. All right. So again, one input. So if you got a fire stick or a fire TV cube, plug it into the side first. And then from the other side, you come out and go into the Zadu. All right. That's how you do it. Pretty simple like that. Again, this is the U9 right here. I actually did a demonstration on this some time ago. All right. Another one, because I keep them right here. These all work the same. You can find these on Amazon. HDMI splitter, one to two. And this one is called Foxman. All right. As you see right there. And it's made the same way. Just different companies. So hopefully you can see that. A one to two. And what it does, it takes the copyright out. All right. And then it allows you to record on your Zadu from another source. All right. And then I think I got one more down here. So these these type of um you know um HDMI splitters work. Um of course this one make sure it got the 4K logo if you want it. It'll do a regular 1080p as well. So it's just up to you. And I think I got what another one down here. And this one right here this one works as well. EZCOO 4K HDMI 2.0 splitter 1 to 2. All three of these will work if you're trying to record on your Zadu. One thing about the Zadu, it, the Zadu to me is the best all around um, streaming device that we have. Because not only does you know, it allows you to do your home network, right? You can watch your movies and stuff like that. Um, one thing about it, it allows you to send everything out. That's an awesome thing to do. And again, it just it just looks beautiful. So if I can bring this up, let me do this right quick. All right. So one thing about it, you know, um, it just it just makes everything look so beautiful where you can start your own collection, all right? You can start your own Netflix. You can start your own Hulu. You can start your own Amazon Prime video. This device is just a beautiful device. So if I even go into Avatar Collection, and I got, you know, the original avatar and then the new one. And so I could just click in here. And the one thing about it, it'll give me the synopsis. It lets me know that I got a 4K version and a 1080p version. All right. And if you wait like 15, 20 seconds up in the top right hand corner, it will play the trailers. Uh, and I mean, it's just it's just an amazing little device. And plus, it gives you the synopsis of the movie, and it goes from there. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. I can't even lie. 
He said, Dale, uh, you would like the app. It works on, like what app? Dale, you would like the app. It works on all Android boxes. What app? I don't know what app you're talking about. What's up, Truth? Thank you. Thank you. All right. But y'all know me. I do not like to be on Wi-Fi. Uh, to me, you know, to each his own, I just think it's better to stream when you hardwire. So I'm going to go back over to the settings. And I'm going to network. And I'm going to cut this Wi-Fi off. All right. Because I really don't need it. Uh, but I am going to plug this Ethernet right back and you're going to see it right here right now it says not connected but you're going to see this bad boy come right back up and says connect there it is right there should get something there it is connected see how quick that is and the rest is history so now i can go over here into my my movies and again, you can you can you can pretty much do whatever you want to do with this bad boy. If you want to keep it inside your home and share it, your this device is capable. You can have this device in your living room on all the Zadu devices. You can have these back the, the main source in your living room, and then you can get a couple apps that will reach out and grab all of your movies like Nova Video Player and actually play this for you. It's real, real, very, very nice. But also, for people who may not know, because I'm getting ready to set someone else up, right? I got this secret black box. And again... If you want to learn how to set up your own media library, definitely reach out to me via email. Let me get that email across right here. Let me go up and now. There it is right there. You can email me or you can support the channel. All right. Again, pretty, pretty solid. All right. But here it is. You may say, what is this box right here? For people who don't want to deal with a network attached storage. And again, I'm getting ready to set someone up. Matter of fact, shout out to my homie Ben, who, who he uh he works at Micro Center. And uh, me and Ben was talking over this weekend because I went out to Micro Center and we was just kicking it, you know. And what Ben is trying to do, he basically, he has a tower full of hard drives, things like that, right? But I think he's trying to use Linux. And, you know, I told him, I was like, I mean, if that's all you're going to use it for, you know, you can get it to a hard drive enclosure. If you don't want the network attached storage, which I have, y'all saw it, I still have it. I also got uh, um, a hard drive enclosure right here that y'all saw on the Zadu. And you know, you got to show these cats. These cats be thinking you're lying and stuff like that. Like, Dale ain't got that. Oh, Dale do. Oh, Dale do. And you see it right here. You see it's on. And you see that flash drive? That's that flash drive y'all was seeing on the Z10 Pro. All right. Works very, very well. Not that loud, you know. Uh, doesn't get super hot. So it's pretty solid. All right. And again, you can get one of those. And again, I suggest that you get, I don't know what I knocked over, but I heard something go over. Uh, me personally, I suggest that you get one that has a RAID, a RAID 1. At least that way it automatically copies, you know, whatever you have. Um, this one right here that I'm getting ready to set up 
for someone locally. All right. Someone locally. This is a hard drive enclosure. Let me just go full screen with this. All right. Thanks, Huff. This is a hard drive enclosure. Very, very lightweight. All right. This is all you have to do is connect the USB up to your Zadu, or you can connect this bad boy up to your router. All right. Now, it does have the RAID 1, and it's way in the back. I don't know if y'all will be able to see it, but you see them little red buttons back there in the back? You can put that as your RAID 1. Man, that's tight. God, to be more careful. Compared to that one, shit, you got the buttons right here. You got to go up in this bad boy. It's tight, but we'll make it work. And again, very, very easy. That's all I did. I think I paid, I paid what, 95 for this? And it does the RAID 1. This, again, very, very similar to your NAS. Um, you know, as far as hooking up your 3.5s up to it. And everything plugs in the back. As I don't know if you can see it. Let me do this. I'm going to take both of them out. I don't know if y'all will be able to see it, but they back there. I ain't got the light. I ain't got this light on. But you see, if you see the green, there you go. You see everything connected right there. All right. And it's pretty straightforward. If you don't want, listen, not everybody need a NAS, all right? But if you want to just make it as simple as possible, all right, if you want to make it as simple as possible, I suggest that you get a device uh, with a RAID 1. You don't have to go out here and spend four or $500. You can connect this bad boy to your router. For people who love Plex, you can connect this device to your router and have um, your Plex go through your router and you can actually, you know, uh, feed your router. Or, you know, um, you can connect it directly into your Zadu. Either way, you can connect it directly to your Zadu. So it's pretty cool, though. It's pretty solid. You know, again, I went, the, the other device cost me like 139 And it gave me a few extra little perks and stuff like that. Like a, a USB. It gave me a um a, a where you can put your flash drive in there right here. Again, you may not see it, but everything right here, but you see that USB sticking up out of it. So that one, you can do that one. This one is straightforward. Again, I'm doing this, you know, for someone. And I'm gonna make a nice little something something off of it uh this weekend i got to go well hopefully i can go this week during the week that way on on the weekend i can just work on this bad boy all right i'm probably going to do it like friday night and then again for people who know how to copy from one unit to another and just go to bed and by the time i get up hopefully everything could be done all right but again i'm gonna set them up um, and so whoever I give this to, well, whoever, when I give this to the person, they'll be able to just connect it directly to their device, right? They can connect it to their device or they can just put it on their router and then go from there. It's just another, another, uh, avenue that you can use. And of course they give you the plug, they give you the plug, the USB and all of that. But it's just another source that we can use um, and, and, and be capable of, you know, using it to our fullest advantage. Again, not everyone needs a NAS. I'm a prime believer of that. You know, at one point, everybody was saying, you NAS, NAS, NAS. Well, you can get a hard drive and closure. If you don't, and look, a lot of people, and look, I mean, it's personal preference. 
I can care less. Uh, but I just try to speak the facts. If you're using your Nas strictly for movies and TV shows, then you're missing the boat. And again, you hear people tell you, oh, I got a Nas, 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 but they're not even using the Nas to the fullest capability. And again, it's personal preference. People can do what they want to do. But here, here's the one that I use right here. Pretty, pretty solid. All right. This is pretty, pretty solid right here. And this is type C. All right. So some people like that. Uh, but again, you could you could do what you want to do. Some It's just that some people are not going to give you the correct information. And I know we have devices out here. I'm never going to tell anybody to go and get an NVIDIA Shield to watch Netflix. All right. Not when we got fire sticks and Chromecast, things like that. You know, um, I'm not going to tell somebody to get, you know, a Chromecast with a Google TV if they really like to game, like they really love to game, like Android games and whatever games, them higher end Android games, uh, you know, some retro gaming and stuff like that. I'm going to tell them then, yeah, you might want to go with the Shield, you know, things like that. Um, it's just that everybody have a preference, you know, my preference is going to be totally different from your preference. Your preference is going to be total different from mine. It's just that we share our resources. That's what it all comes down to. We share our resources and you're going to have some people that they, they're going to be the smartest in the room. All right. Or at least think they're the smartest in the room. But again, just just a couple months ago, what was everybody saying? Nas, man, you got to get a Nas, 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 Nas. You got to get a Nas. No, you don't. You can get a hard drive enclosure. I remember when Bo got a hard drive enclosure like three, four years ago. You know, he got a hard drive. And I think he still uses hard drive enclosure. And so, again, if you want to turn your hard drive enclosure, this one was 90 I'm going to just round it off. This one was $100. All right. Let's just say that this one was $100. My Nas costs, what, $300 and something? I can't remember. But I'm doing that for business, so that's a tax write-off for me. This may not be a tax write-off for you. But this can become your Nas. This device right here can become your Nas. You, now, you're going to say, well, Dale, how in the heck can I make this my Nas? If you connect to any, any USB device that connects to your router, becomes a network attached storage device. If you connect, I ain't got, listen, if you connect a flash drive with content on it, this become a network attached storage device. All right. Whatever you connect to your router via USB becomes a network attached storage. So, again, you may not want all of them programs and stuff that come with Nas. You might want simplicity, right? You want it simple as possible. You can go out there and spend a hundred dollars or sometimes lower than that. I would just say, in my opinion, in my opinion, get you a hard drive enclosure with a RAID 1. That way, if you want it as simple as possible, you don't want no headaches. That way, if the two drives or maybe you get a four bay, I don't know. You can you can do whatever you want to. But make sure you get one that's like 12 terabytes or higher. I would probably go with 16 terabyte terabytes, right? Or if you're just starting off, let me do this. If you're just starting off, I would say you're getting your feet wet. Start off with a, a four terabyte a piece. But now if you're going to get serious, if you're going to get serious, this is what cost us. The drives cost us. All right? The drives cost us. All right? So you may want to start off with an eight terabyte 
it really depends on you. Now, I'm going to tell you, I got, in this one right here, I got two eight terabytes. I don't forget what I got in this one. I don't forget what I got in my NAS. But I'm going to tell you now, with all of this data I have, I have yet to go over four terabytes. And I got a lot of movies. All right. I have a lot of them. But again, you can turn anything that you connect USB to your router. That will become your NAS. All right. So your hard drive enclosure, I can take this bad boy right here. I can take it right here, taking it loose from that Zadu device. I can take it, and yes, it's running. Hopefully you can hear it. It's real low, but I can take this and plug it into my router. And my router, turn on, when I go into my, well, it's already on, but going to my routers, right, sign into my router, and actually turn on Ready Share. And whatever I connect to this bad boy to my router via USB, it will become my NAS because now this becomes a network attached storage because your router is what is connected to your network. It allows you to network your router. It sends out or you connect to your router. You know, that's how you get Wi-Fi and everything. Remember your network without you can't have a network without a modem. Something going to have to be, you know, something is going to have to distribute or no you cannot have a network without your router all right you, you definitely need the router so something got to send signal out and you can connect to it so that's why when you go into you know uh you know when you want to hook up multiple multiple devices you know your router will let you go wi-fi or either how do you connect you can go hardwire because your router is going to give you a network your own network and this is when you have to have i suggest work on your network meaning get your own modem and get your own router don't get the modem router combination get the modem so the modem can do its job and get a router so it can do its job two separate devices let the router be the router let the modem do the modem work that's pretty much it and then you just whatever you connect to that router it can go across your home network and not only that for people who be like oh man but i can share my place there are plenty of ways you can share a lot of your content if i want to give access to my brother right now i can give him access to my network and he can connect and look at movies whatever i have connected to this bad boy he'll be able to watch movies all right so it's pretty it's pretty simple and self-explanatory um but again you can get on youtube do some research and then go from there all right pretty simple but it's pretty pretty solid though uh, again you don't have to go out here and spend i'm telling you some of us we and i'm gonna say us because we are all a part of it some of us got four or five hundred dollar nas devices right and only put movies and TV shows. We ain't using Docker. We ain't using no access. Man, we ain't doing no remote access. We ain't doing none of that stuff. We just put movies and TV shows and music on there. And then you tell them, hey, man, you got to get you a, you know, you got to get you a, a, a NAS. No, you don't. You can use a flash. Man, look, you can use two external hard drives. And there you go. It's just that when you have a when you have a a, a hard drive enclosure, it just it just simplifies things, right? It just make it very very simple, and it'll be right next to your router and stuff like that. It looks good and all of that, and that way you can connect to it and send files back and forth, and you know, it just, it just simplifies things. That's all. It, it's it's however you do it, as long as you get into the finish line, you good with me. We can talk about that on another show.
Um, Gio say, yo, Dale, I have a question. Do you use a VPN? No, I do not use a VPN anymore. Nope, I do not use that anymore. Nope. The reason I don't use a VPN because I know how to rip my own movies. I know how to get the content, all of that. You know, I even know how to share the content. So I don't have to, you know, uh, use a VPN because I'm, you know, everything. I, I Yeah, I don't use a VPN. That's all it is. You say, yo, you say, that's me. I got the Pro Max with containers set up for Nas and Plex, etc. And that's the key word, right? You said etc. meaning you're doing other things. But, you know, you just have some people. And, again, people can spend their money. I'm not criticizing you what you're doing. Uh, I think a Nas is a great device, you know, uh, really for future needs. You know, some of us going to learn how to create websites and use it to our advantage. Some of us going to learn how to host. Maybe not now, but in a year or so, you may want to know learn how to host a website yourself. Well, with a Nas, yes, you can do that. You know, um, you can do it. You definitely can do it. Absolutely. But if, if you just strictly about your media, music, you know, movies and TV shows, then you got options. You can go external hard drives connected to your router. You can go external hard drives connected to your Zidu. You can go hard drive and closures connected to your router. Now that becomes a network attached storage. Uh, you can go hard drive enclosures connected to your Zadu or to your PC. It really doesn't matter because you can hook this bad boy up. You can hook this hard drive enclosure. I can hook this up to my PC right now with the RAID 1 setup, you know, to make it easy for you. And I can just share it out. I can share it out. And then go from there. Pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple. But maybe we'll get into some more network talk possibly tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to have a long day tomorrow. So I may even go live with y'all tomorrow and just we'll talk some more detail. Maybe I'll open up a link uh, where people could come on and share their experience. Remember, your experience is not my experience. Certain things I'm going to like that you're not going to like. Um, I'm never going to tell someone not to, to try an experience. You know, it's okay. You know, some people don't care about, listen, I was one of them people. But see, with me, I got to see it with my own eyes. And when I see it with my own eyes, that means then I can determine and say, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. Or I'm going to say, nah, that ain't for me. It ain't for me. I don't, nah, it ain't for me. So, so it's pretty, 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 uh, you know, uh, it's really all about the experience. What up, though, Andy? LB, what up, though? Again. Owens Bibbs, what up, though? What up, though, Andy? You can ask a question. I'm going to get off in about five, about five, ten minutes. That bad boy ain't even out yet. I got all of them. I ain't added the tenth one to it. But I got it. I got slashers. I don't know, man. I thought this was gonna be pretty good. It's turning out to be some bull crap. You know, I got I got what five seasons of this. It's turned out to be some bull crap. You say, can you hook? Can you hook what up to an Amber X? Are you talking about the hard drive enclosure? Can you hook that up to your Amber X? Is that what you're asking? 
Let me know what you asking, Andy. Can you hook it to the Amber X? If you're talking about the hard drive enclosure, absolutely, you can hook it up to the Amber X. You can hook it up to the Amber X. Absolutely. Yep, you can hook it up to the Amber X. I still use my Amber X, and I use it for me. And I show you. And see, that's what I'm saying. The devices I use, as you see, I want to pull it too much. All right? But here's the Amber X. Hopefully, y'all can see it. Here it is right here. The Amber. And look, you notice there's a flash drive in there because I use it to my advantage. Again, this is a flash drive with content. I use it to my, my advantage. So, yes, it has a USB. And your Amber X will be able to find it. Whatever you, your Amber X is basically a router. That's pretty much what it is because it's connected to your network. And as you see right here, I'm knocking things over. You see it right here. You see an Ethernet cord right here plugged into it. This is the Ethernet cord plugged right into it. I leave it right there. And again, there go the uh see my light and it's blinking because it lost it lost uh um network but it, it, it'll it come back on there it is right there all right so yes absolutely absolutely pretty solid You say, hey, Tim, you probably going to have to get you another one, man. They probably gave you an old 41. Yep. You're going to have to get you a, probably going to have to get you another one. Get you a, you know, and then go from there. I done had some that done messed up on me. Uh, but if you just got it, put the Dell Law in full effect. Or what you can do, Tim, I'll tell you what you can do. Order that same one. <laughs> Order that same one, put the Dell Law in full effect. <laughs> That's what I would do. So I'll be, man, I'm the king of it. King of it. I even got my uh my my little router that does the the Wi-Fi 6. You know, I got this little thing right here. Basically, it's a router as well. Some of y'all have these uh, travel routers. And, yeah, whatever you plug into it, yeah, it'll find it. Now, I'll be trying all type of stuff over here, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, that bad boy probably went out, man. I don't know. I don't know why I did it. I'll be recording all type of stuff, Tim. What are you recording, Tim? Are you recording um, like your local? Are you recording basketball games? What are you recording? Because I may have a solution for you. What are you recording? Are you recording Eyebrow Peterson Television? Just say yes. You can say yes or no. Let me know. Yeah, man. I man, I try to this this man. This show is so predictable. I don't know. I ain't. I don't know. I ain't watch this. I tried to watch it, but I did watch Sweetwater. I ain't finish it. I think I had like another like 20, 30 minutes remaining. So, you try to record from BET Plus. Yeah, you should be able to get it. 
I think I think it's the um uh, I think it, it it could be the splitter. That's why I, I be having like two or diff two three different ones. That way, if one try to act up, I go to the another one. You know, so that might be something you wanna uh you know get another one. Probably get two of them just in case. You know, I ain't, Dave, I ain't, I watch, I ain't really like Evil Dead Rise. You know what? I ain't, I ain't, you know what? I, I, I was going to go to the movies and see it, but man, it was so much blood, man. It, to me, it was more blood than anything, man. <laughs> and I ain't watched this one yet. Yeah, I ain't watched uh, Renfield yet. I ain't watch that with this one. And if you want something, you want to see something with a bunch of blood, definitely watch this one. That was so much blood, man. I say, well, damn. I said, man. I say, all right, I'm going to try the U9. Yeah, that U9 is nice. Which one you like? Which one you like, show enough? That sweet water was straight. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't great, but I mean it was alright. It was alright. I just got to finish it off. That's all I got to do. From I'm 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 trying to hang in there with from. I'm trying to hang in there. I'm trying to hang in there. But uh it's, they, it's like they taking too long now. They taking too long. Oh, you say, yeah, just following in the evil day. Yeah, I watched it like years ago. But yeah, it seems like it's, it's taking so long. There's a few, like, I ain't like Scream. Scream was lame. This movie, I went to the movies and saw. And don't even waste your time. I'm telling you, this was terrible. I ain't watched this yet. My wife, she probably will watch this malpractice. Snowfall, she watched that. I ain't watched Beef yet. I ain't even watched this. I ain't watched neither of these. I watched this bull crap. This was terrible. I did not like it. It can keep it. Terrible. Oh, you say, oh, Evil Dead Rise? Yeah, I ain't care too much for it. I ain't care. You know, you know how I am, LJ. I ain't watch Assassin or nothing like that. Creed was all right. Avatar was straight. Man, I tried to watch that Winnie the Pooh. Oh, my goodness, dog. That crap was terrible. I watched what? Swarm? Damn. Is that right? Cocaine Bear? <laughs> Man, I did watch Bruiser. It was all right. Like I said, man, I need some good films. I ain't watched this. Knock on the cat, knock at the cabin. I ain't watched that yet. Plane was a uh, puppet master. My wife, she loved Whitney. Like I said, ain't nothing really. You people was uh, I like Megan. Everything else, I mean, yeah. I got all the old school movies all up in this joint. Y'all see how y'all see I got all the movies from Eddie Murphy. 
I was like, man, I'm about to do anything with Eddie Murphy in that. So that's why you see so many Eddie Murphys. Like Boomerang, Dolomite, Imagine That, Haunted Mansion, Daddy's Daycare, Norbit, all of this stuff. Yeah, fear was not good, man. Fear was that. Uh, you say, I thought 65 was okay at best. You talking about. Oh, you say you thought it was old. I'm thinking you talking about television. You talking about that movie. That 65 wasn't all that to me. It was it was terrible. Tell you the truth. I, I ain't like it. The last time I actually went to the movie was to see uh, the second Twilight with my daughter. Man, that's been a long time, Just G. He said, no, trash. <laughs> oh, man. He said, Winnie didn't want to share Christopher Ross. <laughs> man. He said, you've been spoiled by Grey A film. I love ABC, XYZ. No, I like, I like, I like B films. Um, one of my favorite films, I'm going to tell you one. I'm about to show you one of my favorite films of all time. Didn't even make it to the movies. I think it's called uh, Shattered. Maybe I, hold on. Let me do this. Let me do this. I think it's called Shattered. Where you at? <clears throat> This right here. This, this is not the movie cover, but this this film called Shattered. And then there was another film with uh what is his name? One of my favorite uh one of my favorite actors. What is his name? Uh Anthony Hopkins. Uh, oh shoot I forgot can't do it that way I have to go what was his movie called man he did a movie that was called uh, with him and the young lawyer what was that movie called with him and the young lawyer Can y'all remember him in the? Let me just let me just look it up. I'm gonna get up out of here. Man. I'm gonna tell you in a minute. Oh, uh, where you at? Anthony Hopkins, where you at? Movies. A list of Anthony Hopkins performances. I think it came out in like 2000. Fracture. Fracture. That's what it's called. One of the best. Hey, listen, if you don't know about this movie, I guarantee you, you will like it. Where we at? Fracture. Where we at? I might go up here and watch this tonight. Uh, Dad, go right there. One. Of, hey, listen. One of the best films. This is one. And this was a B movie. I love this film. This film was good. This film was awesome. I this film right here, Fractured, a B movie, a B movie. Nice. 
I'm telling you. So if you haven't saw this, add this to your movie collection. And when you get a chance, watch it. Watch it. I'm telling you. Really, really good film. Man, look, I don't want to tell you about it. I do not want to tell you about it because it's going to ruin everything, you know? But I guarantee you, you're going to come back and say, hey, Dale, man, that was a good movie. Good movie. Good movie. What up, though? Bulldog. What up, though? What's good? What is good? Yeah, Dave say Fracture was a real good movie. Yeah, man, I, I love me some Fracture. I'll tell you that now. Add that to your movie collection if you don't. With Anthony Hopkins. With Anthony Hopkins. And... Let me do this. Uh... I'm going to do, there was a, um, I'm about to try to show you, I'm looking for this other one. You say, I watched that on your recommendation. On your recommendation. That movie, man, this movie is good. I love the way it ended and everything. Yeah, Bulldog, I'm getting ready to get up out of here, man. I'm tired. Man, I, I got up at what? I think I got up around, what, 3.30-ish? Shoot, I got to work around, what, 4.45? I was tired. I ain't gonna even lie. I'm tired now. I'm on fumes now. Yep. Salute to you, Bulldog. Salute. Salute. What up, though, Keith? What up, though, Fracture? Is this the movie that... Hey, Bill, don't be telling the movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yes yes bill absolutely we need to bring back movie night we definitely need to bring back movie night we definitely need to bring back movie night <laughs> bill say is that the movie he can? man shattered i'm telling you shattered shattered not the 2022 one um, let me do something right quick. Uh, Shattered. I think it, across seas they called it something else. Yeah, here it is right here. Here it is right here. They call it something overseas. They call it butterfly on the wheel. Man, let me show you this one right here. So you might have to look it up as butterfly on the wheel, but uh let me do this share screen windows this one right here this movie right here is in a in the united states it is called shattered it is called shattered my brother calling me hold up hey bro let me call you right back in five ten minutes i'm almost done with this live okay all right this bad boy right here, it, it like I say, it's called Shattered, but they also renamed it Butterfly on the Wheel. One of the best, listen, one of the greatest B films that you will ever, ever watch. But here it is right here. It's called Shattered from 2007. But again, overseas, they call it Butterfly on the Wheel. But if you go over here to... Um, here it is right here. This is the movie poster right here. Add this to your collection. Close that. 
try to add this to listen type shatter 2007 all right you see it's trying to play the trailer i ain't trying to get no copyright or nothing. definitely add this to your collection but again in some areas it's called uh and you see they're gonna look, look at young pierce <laughs> <laughs> them guys <laughs> man them guys was young man look add this to your collection great film between this and fracture i don't know both of them great b movies and they don't make it like this and i ain't found two b movies since i watched this but again you may find it as butterfly on the wheel you know uh, but it, or just type in Shattered 2007. All right. Very, very nice film, though. Good film. That's all I'm going to tell you. And you will thank me later. You will thank me later. <laughs> you will thank me later. I guarantee it. If you got your loved one that with you, watch them films. I think, though, man, those two films, Fracture and Shattered, is from 2007. I don't know why it ain't on here. Let me see something, too. I'm going to do something right quick. Let me go down here. Yeah, this this some old new one. I should have had the other one in here too. Don't know why I ain't got the other one in there, but I get it. But add it to your uh smile was crazy. This movie right here was crazy. Got the goat. But hey Cordelia, I guarantee you're gonna thank me later. Just remember Shattered, because it may come up with that 2022 film. Just make sure you put in Shattered with the ED on the end and make sure you uh you you put in um 2007. Let me go to one of my sites right quick. Let me see something. Top Cat say, yo, I just added both movies to watch list. Yeah, you going to like them. I, I, man, both of them films, man, both of them films, you going to like a hey, little Top Cat, you going to thank me later. I bull crap you not. Both of them, and they be films. They be films. You going to thank me later. I bull crap you not. Let me see. I'm going uh, to just put Shattered. 2007. Yep, here it is right here. Yep, there it is right there. I'm going to try my other site. Remember, put Shattered 2007. It's going to make your life a little bit easy. What up, though, G? What's good? So I just found it. Yup. You could do the butterfly on the wheel. Yup. You could do that. It's the same film.
man. That bad boy, that's a, that's a good film, man. I ain't gonna even lie to you. I like it. Say not tonight. You're not having me looking crazy in the morning. For <laughs> no, don't do it tonight. But it, it's a good weekend. Like on your day off, definitely get your popcorn. Rose, get your popcorn. Have your 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 beverage right there. And I'm telling you, both of them. I listen. Both of them had man. Both of them was good. I love that Anthony Hopkins though. I ain't gonna even lie because you know Anthony. Man, I love, man, I like both of them. I, I both of them was awesome films. My wife liked both of them though. But definitely add that to your your you know your collection. So those are two films you can add to your collection. Yeah. Just G say yo. The final destination, yeah, final destination is, is definitely those are good too if you want to see some craziness. Though both will be for Friday night. Yeah. And they're not scary or anything like that. So don't think they're scary or they're not they're not horror films. You know, so you're good with that. So uh they're not horror films. They drama, crime, you know, it's those type of thrillers, stuff like that. So with that being said, guys, I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I'm tired. I'm about to go up here and eat me a little something, something, and then take my tail to sleep and get ready for this work day tomorrow. Uh, with that being said, I just want to thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. You know, um, again, hopefully y'all got a little something with this uh, today. Remember, developers options, how to turn on your hotspot. How to connect your device to the to your PZ, your PZ, PC. That way you can transfer data back and forth. Um, again, there's so many things you can do with this device. It's very, very nice. You can send movies, everything over there, and it should get to going. I revisit that, you know, um, that portion of sending files back and forth. Um, if, if, if I get off early tomorrow, I will go live tomorrow. And we will go from there. All right. We will have a good time. That way you will see it firsthand and then go from there. Uh, with that being said, guys, I'm getting ready to take my tail upstairs. Let me make sure nothing came through on the pal. Because something might have came through on the pal that I'm unaware of. Should have had a good discussion about John Morant. Man, messing up the bag. All right, nothing came through the pal, so that's cool. But I appreciate y'all guys. Salute to y'all. Appreciate everybody that donated tonight. Definitely appreciate that. With that being said, I'm hungry. I'm getting up out of here. And we'll do some of these little tips and stuff later on down the week. Hopefully tomorrow, but we'll see which way we go. Thank y'all for tuning in. Superdale, I am out this joint. Peace. Oh.